Hello and welcome everybody. I'm talking to my ministry Christian friends. Now everybody out there is not all a Christian. Doesn't have the that's okay. We respect you, all colors, males and females, anybody else. We respect you because God formed you, made you, wanted you here, and he perished and gave his son for you but that's your choice about receiving you know that's your choice we're for you i am pro humans this christian ministry and this person is pro the human and let them decide who they're going to serve but the word of the lord here is for the christian and the believer in jesus all right i'm going to talk about this because you need to know that a lot of people in these days are suffering just because they wanted to go to one of these certain kinds of Christian ministries. A lot of them, hopefully not all, are celebrity, many of them. But not all. It's the doctrine of speaking in tongues that seems to be this. So I'm submitting that on behalf of all people, the body of Christ, to hear God, but also on behalf of the unbeliever, the stranger, the angel unaware, the minister taken off to get away from their own stressful ministry, the person who's been abused, the person who's been demeaned before they got there and wanted to go to church, the people who can't find a job and they're stressed, the people who's a single parent, their children are needing money and there's nobody there for the man who's been hard at work, paying the price to do what's right for their family. I'm telling you, this is what we need to talk about. Not the top, but to the bottom. I respect each and every Christian who's true and has got the call. I respect the fathers and the mothers of the former movements, black, white, brown. My, I respect my own parents who are pastors and leaders. And my aunt, their parents, I respect people. I want to bless you because nobody's human. You know, the Bible says we've all fallen short of God's glory, including myself. Nobody is perfect, only Christ, no leader, and nobody knew, and I'm giving grace here where grace is due. Nobody knew that 40, 30, 20, 15 years ago it would be like this due to media ministry, due to all the different kinds of doctrines that are out there, the talking heads, due to the popularity of Hollywood, fame, wannabeism, and I'm teaching this like this passionately for a future church for a future church if the turf protecting big ones allow there to be one because their stronghold is over the the people who are just not famous that are pure in heart the remnant the seeker the volunteer now you can have a lot of people that go to church and they're well respected but for some reason, I'm a very diverse and mature person. And the Lord allowed me to see the kind of Levitical patriarchism that is in the giant and small types that have gotten into fostering their own system, their own club, their elite, their uh, respecter of persons. Many times they're self-reflecting if you don't look like them have their vibe they are getting they will come against you accuse you or write you off as it's compassion fatigued and lack of teaching something's going on in that so I'm stirring it up I'm gonna train you I'm gonna train you it needs to be trained all around America wherever this is heard send it out across the seas whatever it is here's what you have to do now you got to train them if you've not been out to attend a fellowship on a regular basis that is not yours and not be over it and surrounded by, buffered by staff and handlers, bodyguards, then you need this. Because I was out here, you know, to help out as an embed. We're pro the people. All right. So when you have a visitor, how to have a, this is to the dysfunction, the Second Timothy 3, 1 through 5 club. From such turn away. The remnant already know this. I'm teaching those, the Demas, the Eli, evil, you know, the boys, whatever this is. The good old person's club. So we are pro 
all of you. I'm not naming your names. I'm making, not putting your famous and not famous name or church on this and making money off of it like some do. I'm just stirring it up. All right. So here's what we have. When you see, because there's so much stereotyping. Uh, I've been around, I think what it is, people are immune now, they're compassion fatigued, their heart is probably pure, but they've forgotten and lost their first love. And then also, why are we really here? Why are we a Christian charismatic? Why are we here? Is it for us to retire? Is it us to be the celebrity and keep it going and pass it down Nepo style to my our next generation with plenty of funding? Could be. Because in the gap, between when I started studying the body of Christ as a call from the Lord, a commission in 1976 prior to media. Yes, I was saved, knew the Lord Jesus but on up. I was there <laughs> through the transitioning of that from, let's say, beginning of the charismatic renewal till now. And I've seen a difference only after the mid 90s when celebrity really got a stronghold back in the day reality tv kicked in oj i believe started that the simpson trial but then we had the uh, many things hardening the hearts of just the population society and that would be the feature on money and that would be it could be many reasons but i look back at the lifestyles of the rich and famous affecting the rank and file Cribs, MTV, Sweet 16, huge parties for, you know, $250,000 for a kid's party. But also the wannabeism and the, the, the cults that followed celebrity, not all are cults. And people just didn't know it. Let's defrag it. Let's de defix this then. You know, we didn't know it. Let's say it's dysfunction now. But I saw it and I've been, and I've accumulated this knowledge for our region. All right, so we go back before they started dehumanizing people when they showed up for worship. That's what it is. Dysfunction, you're dehumanizing people as a type and it, a look, a vibe that you don't like. That is the issue, All right? So let's say before you start dehumanizing people as it and types because you want to keep your, you know, the elite club or whatever that is. Then you go back to say, first of all, they're humans got made in God's image. And that it's not about me, my four, no more indifference or the club or we're over it now. You know, we paid our dues. We've seen it all. That is your network often. And uh, forgive them, Father, they know not what they do, but their people are doing it even more. You know, let's put it this way. And yet not all. It's the doctrine one doctrine, LP, not other non-LP, basically, that I've seen. So we want to start again, stir up the fallow ground, the hard ground of the tough-minded, tough customers and their people. Not servant leaders, all right? We are pro-you and pro-God, but this is a subculture, an enormous, magnetic, hypnotic cultish subculture west end western european levitical patriarchism and it can be african-american too but this is the pet peeve of stirring it up so if somebody comes in let's say you are there and a person who's never seen the lord doesn't know about the lord they're curious they're hurting they're suffering they come in and they walk in and they have they look poor they look sad they look like isaiah 53 the suffering christ not famous no handlers no bodyguards nobody knows them not your type that is the group you better watch out for that is jesus not religion, but Jesus coming to you to see how you're going to behave. And that's what I meant. It is that bad. people are suffering just to go into the mixture Ishmael subculture that says it's prophet, apostle, pastor, all this stuff. And I care enough for the pastor and the prophet and the apostle, but I care even more for the people who've never met the Lord because they can't find him in dysfunction. That's what this is. It's a cult culture. That's what this is. Break it down. Community. Ephesians 4. It's not it. It's our tough. Our tough turf. Our thinking. Get 
good doctrine that is reproving, correcting? Is it transcendental?